Welcome to the Online Success Journey Podcast, your opportunity to discover and learn from entrepreneurs like yourself. This is not your typical podcast, but a place where you can get the real story and find out how real people encounter speed bumps and detours, but journey through to find success. Now here's your host for the Online Success Journey Podcast, Patience. Hello everyone and welcome to Online Success Journey. This is episode 25. Are you ready to join the clan? Today we have uh, Kelly Roach. Uh, Kelly helps entrepreneurs and business owners skyrocket their sales and uncap their income. As the CEO of Kelly Roach Coaching, Kelly's mission is to empower entrepreneurs with the key strategies, resources, inspirations and education needed to accomplish their goals and dreams. As a former NFL cheerleader, Kelly focuses heavily on exercise integration, personal development, and the key health living rituals to help her clients achieve sustainable business success coupled with fulfilling and freedom-based lifestyle. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Patience. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. Thank you for coming. Um, I know here, Kelly, uh, my clan is anxious to hear your story. So let's get started with the basic one. Can you tell my clan a little bit about your background, what you did before you started your online business? Take us right up to the last job or business before you are online. Sure, absolutely. Well, for me, I came from a very large family. There were five kids in my family. My dad worked for a nonprofit. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. And so our background was we were always struggling financially. I'm sure a lot of people listening can relate to that type of situation. And, you know, all growing up, I was working like two jobs, three jobs, you know, all through school. I was hustling. I was waitressing. I was cheering for the NFL. I was doing all these crazy side jobs all the time. And so I just really made the decision. And I knew that when I started started my professional career, I needed to buckle down. I needed to be serious. I knew I wanted to be financially free. And so when I started my professional career, I joined a Fortune 500 firm and I got in there and I just did everything I could to be focused on the bottom line, to make the biggest impact on the organization I could as fast as I could. And that actually led me to be promoted seven times in eight years. And the way that I did that, patience, was by co- coaching and training and teaching people how to sell and how to raise their prices and how to bring in business for the company. And because it was producing millions and millions of dollars in profit for the company, I was able to leverage that into many promotions and salary increases. And it created a lot of opportunity for both myself as well as my staff. And so I got to that senior vice president level. I kind of accomplished the dream, I guess, that I had when I started my my professional career. Um, I had 50 people reporting to me. I was managing 17 branches up and down the East Coast. And it really just got to the point where I was having to really compromise my quality of life in order to continue on that journey. And I realized that it still wasn't going to allow me to achieve my financial goals. And so I decided at that point, you know what, I really want to do something that makes a difference. I want to do something that is fulfilling, that, you know, is going to help people, but also uncap my income and create freedom in my life. And what better than becoming an online entrepreneur to be able to do that? And that's kind of where Kelly Roach Coaching came from. Wow, that's a great background, Kelly. So help us connect with you. Tell us one thing, either a business or a personal that we want to know about you, even if we have been seeing you all over the place. (laughs) One thing that maybe not everybody knows about me is that I'm a mom. I'm obviously, I'm a wife and a mom, and I have a 22-month-old uh, daughter. So she's just about to turn two coming up in March at the time that we're doing this interview. And that's my really my number one priority. So I do market my business very hard online. I do a lot of publicity. I, la- I do a lot of PR and radio interviews and podcasts and stuff like that. But all of that is typically built around my daughter's schedule and around what's going to be best for my family. So maybe that's that's probably the key thing that maybe people don't know about me is that I'll, every, every decision that I make in my business um, is, is with her and, and my husband in mind. Wow. That's something in you. So, Kerry, uh, how was it easy from transforming from a cheerleader to a business? 
Well, what I'll tell you about being an NFL cheerleader is that it's there's a lot more to it than what most people think. Um, it's a lot of early mornings. It's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of very long rehearsals with very few water breaks. <laughs> it's a lot of um, balance. You're speaking to the media. You're doing photo shoots. You're doing volunteer work. You're rehearsing multiple times a week um, for five, six hours. You're doing appearances all over the place. And so for me, I was the youngest girl on the team. Team. I had just turned 18. And so it really taught me a lot of discipline and professionalism and how to balance um, the other jobs that I was doing with a full load of classes in school and, you know, being able to do that as well. So, you know, I think that the the transition from being an NFL cheerleader into a, a working professional, that really set me up for success because I was used to speaking to people um, from your everyday fan that was attending the game to CEOs and people from the press and the media. Okay. All right. People tend to think the sun is always shining. Now you are successful. Did you have any city bugs, failures while setting up your online business? Oh my gosh, so many. <laughs> oh my gosh, we so, love to hear them. Oh gosh, I mean, I just did a whole podcast episode and I told the story of, um, I paid uh, like thousands and thousands of dollars to be in this webinar training program back when I had just started my business. And um, I was working full time and I was growing my business on the side and I had spent thousands of dollars in this program. I had spent tons of money promoting the webinar. I had gotten a ton of signups for it. And I just, I didn't have a great understanding of online marketing at the time. I was, I was not new to business growth strategy, which is what I, you know, teach and, and what I do. Um, but I was very new to online marketing and I was very new to doing webinars and, um, I had taken off a couple of days of work for the days following the webinar to do, you know, all the consultations of, um, all the people that I expected to, to sign up and want to work with me following the webinar. And I remember no one signed up, not even one person. And of course I'm in tears and I'm like, Oh my God, I just took this time off of work. I just spent all this time. I spent all this money and, you know, I was devastated at the time. And I mean, that's just one little blip on the radar. I mean, I'm sure, you know, patience as you grow your business it's really from the failures that you learn to become great, right? So the only way that I became great at webinars was failing and failing and, and changing things and tweaking things and changing them and innovating and testing. And then finally, I got them to the point where they can, you know, make consistent money for my business. But it, it's out of those failures that, that we b become great. I really do believe that. When nobody turned up at the webinar, uh, what did you? What went into your mind? What did you discuss with your husband or family? Oh. Did you think, that, you know, oh. I should leave the job? I should oh go my back to my old jobs because. Oh. I was a wreck. I was a wreck. I mean, I just had the fairy tale dream that all entrepreneurs do when they first start their business that, you know, if you do the work, they will come. And there's more to it than that. There's strategy. There's perfection of your, your, you know, methodology that you're using. There's your pitch. There's, you know, especially with webinars, there's 35 moving pieces to what's going to determine whether or not you convert people and how much and, and what that looks like. And so I think some Sometimes as entrepreneurs, we want that instant gratification. We want that simplified, direct, straight line. And that is just not the case. It's not the case with anything that you do. And especially with online marketing, because there's so many different components of what determines your success. So for me, when that happened, patients, I was like, I was blown away. I was just like, wow. Especially I think because when you're very confident and performing so high and at such a high level in one aspect of your life, and then you step into to the entrepreneurial world and you face that immediate failure, it's a huge blow, right? It's like your ego is just like, oh my God, what, what happened? Um, but for me, it was a great learning experience. It really made me take a step back and, and analyze what I needed to do differently, what I still needed to learn, what I needed to do for the next time so that I could be successful and, and get those results that I was striving for. Well done. Okay. I know the clan here is anxious to hear about how you go through in this in part two. But for now, tell us what do you think is the reason for your online success, Jane? 
Wow. Um, there, there's a lot, there's a lot. I mean, I'll be honest patients and, and you know this as well. You know, I work really, really hard in my business. Um, but I would say the number one thing is focus and follow through focus and follow through. So it's, it's committing to specific strategies and then working those strategies long and hard and persistently nonstop until you see the results. And it's just not giving up until you define what success looks like to you and until you're seeing those results. And it, it can take months sometimes, it can take years sometimes, but it's just not being willing to give up until you see, see the result that you're striving for. What is the fastest way to add our <clears throat> in our accounts, like 10k a month? Oh my gosh. Six months. This is something, Ooh. yeah. I mean, that's something I'm so passionate about teaching. And I, I teach this in all of my programs because I see so many people out there today that are killing themselves, running themselves into the ground, doing a thousand different marketing strategies, spending so much money on marketing and not really seeing the results. And meanwhile, they have, you know, thousands of dollars right under their nose that they're not tapping into. And usually where that comes from, patients, is going to be from your current accounts that you can upsell and sign to higher dollar packages and higher dollar programs and add in benefits and features to what they're already paying you for. And then your inactives. The inactives are the most overlooked, underutilized strategy for increasing your bottom line that can bring you results quickly. And the truth is, is that most of the time, those people don't have any, you know, disdain for you or any strong reason why they stopped working with you. It's just that life happens. They get busy. They get taken off track. Other things come up. Um, problems and challenges arrive and they get pulled into other things. But if you're not there every step of the way, staying in front of them and reiterating your desire to work with them and reiterating how you can help them, then when they are finally ready to to get back on track and get started again, they're not going to choose you. They're going to choose the person that's been working for their business and doing their due diligence and staying in front of them. Does that make sense? Wow. We got you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kelly, we know that everyone online wants to have their needs met, problems sort of. My client is also hungry of entrepreneurs wanting the same thing, looking to move their businesses forward. What is your focus and your specialty online? Yeah, absolutely. So my core focus is helping people learn how to make more money while working less hours. Because what I find is that people are running themselves into the ground with a thousand different strategies and tactics. Most of them are not producing any income in their business. And literally 80% of their time is being spent on things that aren't actually producing profit for them. So when you help people to get crystal clear on exactly what they should and can be spending their time on that's going to monetize for them, they can actually work less hours and earn more income. So how do we uh, how do we avoid the number one reason why business struggle and why entrepreneurs get burnt out? Yep. So the number one reason is absolutely without a doubt undercharging for your services. It is the most dangerous game you can get into as an entrepreneur. And once you start, it's really hard to stop. So the number one thing that I always tell entrepreneurs is you have to know your worth and you have to have the certainty and the confidence of the value that you deliver. And you have to demand it in the marketplace because obviously no one else is going to do that for you. And, you know, the truth is, patience that 99% of people, although they might say that they're making a decision based on price, it's it's a thousand other reasons why they may or may not work with you or buy your product or buy your service. And most of the time it has nothing to do with price. A lot of times it has to do with their fears, their hesitations, the positioning, the packaging, the way that you define the value, um, whether or not they feel confident in you as an entrepreneur or business owner, um, it, you know, whether they believe that you're going to actually be able to get them the result that you're selling and that you're marketing that you can. And so, you know, pricing, really is the most important thing to protect in your business if you want to make it in the long run as a business owner and entrepreneur. Okay. So, Kelly, where do we find this uh, fabulous program of yours? 
Yeah, absolutely. So the home for Kelly Roach Coaching is www.kellyroachcoaching.com. That's my website. And um, at the time that we're doing this recording, we're just about to launch a brand new, highly interactive site. So I'm really excited for that. But um, anybody that wants to get in touch with me that thinks that they're ready to increase their income and reduce their working hours can always reach out to me directly via email. And that's at coaching at kellyroachcoaching.com. Wow. Okay, Klan, Kelly is going to hang out and share more information about her journey with us. If you can relate to where Kelly started her travels so far, or if you just want to learn more about Kelly, you can listen to the extended version of her journey at onlinesuccessjourney.com. If you are listening at the journey by clicking on part two of Kelly's journey, you will get even more tips from her and she will be helping you to go on the next level. So check out Kelly's automation secret at www.automation-secret.com. You can also find all these links and more at joining on onlinesuccessjourney.com. That's a wrap clan. Remember, success is a journey. Patience and Kelly, join us in part two at onlinesuccessjourney.com. This is not the end of the journey. We hope you've enjoyed listening to part one and want to be sure you know there is a second part to this and every journey podcast at onlinesuccessjourney.com filled with even more success tips, uplifting stories, and even a bit of fun. There are dozens of episodes only available to the members of the Online Success Journey clan. Check out the website and click on Join the Clan for more information. Patience would like to thank you for listening to this podcast, and she has a free audio gift for you at her website. Go to OnlineSuccessJourney.com for instant access to this gift. Of course, you know that listening to the journeys of others helps each of us chart our own path, so make sure you're subscribed to be notified as each new interview is posted. There are so many ways to stay connected to the online success journey and to listen in. And if you're enjoying the podcast, we appreciate your help in telling others. One of the best ways to share the benefit you get is to rate and review it at Stitcher and other sites by clicking the stars or completing the ratings form. By clicking thumbs up and leaving a comment on YouTube or liking and sharing the podcast on social media. To review the podcast within iTunes, simply open iTunes to the podcast, click on Ratings and Reviews, then write a review. On behalf of Patience and until next time, thanks once more for listening. It is our hope that this podcast will guide you on your own online success journey.